Hello students. Today we are in lecture number 52. Lecture number 52 of fourth chapter moving charge and magnetism. My dear student, today we will continue the topic that we have studied in last lecture it was magnetic field at axis of circular coil we left with one topic it was magnetic dipole moment that we will cover today i am bs pande my dear student for a circular coil having n turns we have found that the magnetic field at axial point it was obtained at point P as BP or yes PP if it is the center O this is the position X and the radius was R we have calculated the magnetic field in vector form as mu naught i pi r square divided by 2 pi r square x square thrice of 2 i cap and for n turns we have seen b is mu naught n i pi r square can be written as a divided by 2 pi r square x square 3 by 2 i cap we have studied till here now today we are having the topic it is magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment my dear student as we have discussed electric dipole moment in which we study there should be two charges of equal and opposite nature in same way here in magnetic dipole moment my dear student the dipole a combination or the system in which there will be two pole of magnet exist okay remember my dear friends every current carrying loop act as a sort bar magnet and that's why it is considered as a sort dipole okay look at here what we have actually studied on the basis of that one we are going to make here a diagram suppose we are having the n number of turns of our conductor like this way this is the n number of conductor now if you will see the axis of this conductor, this one is very important, my dear students. If you see the axis of this conductor, if current is flowing in this direction, let me draw the direction of current using this reading. Okay, in this direction, if current is flowing, then you will see if in this direction current is flowing in this direction, if this is the coil, okay and current is flowing in this direction then there must be using this right hand as i told you to find the direction of magnetic field you use your right hand thumb rule okay so you will find current in pattern of current this forefinger this thumb is going in this direction goes in this direction so this will be the direction of magnetic field 
let me draw here the direction of magnetic field this is the direction of magnetic field that is from little away from the loop the magnetic field goes in this way and after getting it makes a loop this way my dear student now if magnetic field lines direction in this way this is the magnetic field lines remember magnetic field lines it means you can see magnetic field lines enter from this section and exit from this face it enters from this face and exit from this face and this is making the closed loop which can made by only the magnetic field lines the closed loop electric field lines never makes closed loop so my dear student you can compare this one with a short bar magnet you can see if this is the bar magnet this is the bar magnet i mean north pole and south pole actually from north pole magnetic field lines exit in this way so magnetic field lines goes in this way inside the magnet the magnet field lines continues to make the close loop now you can compare you can compare both the diagram you will see there is a similarity it means a current carrying loop considered as a bar magnet okay and the face at which the field enters this is the south and the face from which the field lines exit it is north it means all the current carrying conductor behaves like a short dipole like this magnetic dipole act okay if this act as a short dipole it means this uh, a bar magnet it means this is a dipole also now if this is dipole so we can study about the dipole moment my dear student okay so give the heading dipole moment now uh, the one thing which is also very important to find which face is south pole and which face is north pole because this particular topic you will use in electromagnetic induction when we will study about the lenz law okay so let me clear over here that which face of the coil you will treat as south and which one as north remember my dear students if you are having a coil listen carefully if you are having a coil and the current is flowing in this direction all right and you are looking the coil from this face and the current is clockwise so if you will see the coil from the back face you will see it is anti clockwise and this is very very amazing okay this is the coil you are looking the current is in this direction as you will look at here as you will invert the direct coil you will see now the direct flow of current is inward it means one face if it is clockwise then another face you will find it is anti clockwise okay and this is a very important to study while the finding north pole and south pole now if current is moving in this direction you can see current is in this direction okay so the magnetic field lines goes in and the magnetic field goes in the face it is called the south pole so let me write here the s for the south pole now after writing the s you can make the arrow at end of this letter and you will find that this arrow obey the direction of current which is perfect which is similar if this arrow follow the same pattern as this arrow it means you have written this letter correctly 
and if you will write correctly this letter then you will find this is perfectly the pole same all right so if current is moving in this direction this will be considered as the south pole you cannot write north over here now the opposite face the face one and face two this is the second face of the same coil okay so in same coil you will find the current is moving in downward direction and if it is downward direction then you need to write here the n north pole after making this arrow you will find yes it obeying the direction of current so this is the north pole and this is the south pole this is the short trick to find the north pole and south pole whenever you find the direction of current try to write down north and south remember if you try to write north over here you will find no it is incorrect look at here if i'm writing north over here okay you can see the direction of current is not obeying so this is the proper way to find the north pole and south pole my dear student now you should give the heading magnetic dipole moment i'm going to uh, define this magnetic dipole moment and i'm also going to give a simple formula okay let me grab this and that's two so my dear students value magnetic dipole moment it is defined as the product of current and face area of the coil okay magnetic dipole moment mu it is defined as the product of current and face area of the coil that is pi r square or mu is i times a all right for n turns this will be for n turns this could be written as mu is equals to n i a and this is the magnetic dipole moment now that equation that we have uh, obtained you can write in this magnetic dipole moment okay in this form of magnetic dipole moment now uh, for circular coil we can write the magnetic field as mu naught it was n i a for n ten actually i am telling my dear student divided by 2 pi r square plus x square 3 by 2 i cap yes it was now this n i a can be written as mu all right and this is a vector quantity remember mu naught times mu divided by 2 pi r square plus x square 3 by 2 i cap in magnetic dipole moment you can write this equation as this one also this mu is vector quantity remember vector okay and the direction obtained by the direction of current if this is a coil current is moving this direction so if current is moving in this direction magnetic dipole moment will be in this direction basically okay in the direction of magnetic field you can give the magnetic dipole moment the direction of magnetic dipole moment all right i hope that you got the magnetic dipole moment it is nia for n turns and simply it is the product of current flowing through the conductor and the phase area of the conductor okay uh, one very simple question my dear student i'm telling you a very simple question here suppose if you're having a coil like this one and this coil is connected with a battery source all right this is the plus terminal minus terminal so that current is moving in this way current is going from this to this this is your axis okay now we place a magnet over here
and North Pole and South Pole. Now this magnet actually either attract or repel. Attract or repel. Which one is the correct answer? Whether this, this is fixed, coil is fixed through which current is flowing. Okay. Now this magnet will repel or attract towards the coil. You have to find the answer. Try to find out the answer. Okay, now let me give you the answer. If the current is moving this direction, in this direction current is moving, so this magnetic field will be produced in this direction. This is the direction of magnetic field. And this becomes south pole and the behind this will be the north pole. It means the south pole near the north pole. So this magnet will be attracted. So the answer is it will attracted by the coil. All right. Now the next question, my dear student. I will discuss. Suppose we are having two coaxial coil. Okay. This question has been asked in board, I think. I don't remember the year exactly, but this has been asked in board examination. The two coaxial coil all right, this way with the separation of 2R it is kept, this is R and this is also R, the radius both the identical. Now the flow of current is also same of the with the same magnitude I at the center O all right at the center O you have to find the net magnitude two coaxial coil same radius and equal turn also suppose it is a number of turns that is identical equal turns carrying same current in same direction find net field at midpoint if this is the midpoint then you have to find the magnetic field at this point okay how you will solve so let me solve this question my dear student if current flowing through this coil is in this direction so magnetic field will be in this way okay at any point right side the conductor that is the coil left side the coil the direction of magnetic field will be towards negative of x axis. So at this point we have to find the magnetic field. So we'll write the magnetic field. Suppose this is the coil 1 and this is the coil 2. Here the magnetic field due to 1 it is B1 this direction and due to this one also the same direction because the current is same. So B2. Here all the specification are same even the distance are same. So the B1 and B2 will have the same magnitude. So the B net we can write it is twice B. All right. Yes. Now twice B. We are having conductor now with the value of X. How much it is? It is R. Here the value of X will be R and R it is R itself. Now we know the formula for N turns. What is that? So we know the formula, it is D equals to mu naught N I A divided by 2 pi R square plus X square. So here the R square plus R square we can write 3 by 2. Okay. And the direction we are getting for both the coil it is in minus i direction now it is mu naught n i by this one mm, so let we solve 2 will be cancel out mu naught n i a divided by it is a 2 r square and 3 by 2 that is the 2 root 2 and r square r square and 3 by 2 so it will be r q minus i cap 
and this is your answer you can write okay pi is we left pi is left pi is also there so mu naught n i a 2 pi root 2 r q okay you can simplify this one also this a is nothing but the pi r square and you will find this pi and r square gone so mu naught n i divided by 2 root 2 r okay this will be also the answer okay my dear student now that we discuss few more question these are very important in our board examination okay but before that i'll give you a homework let me grab this one so here the homework kindly get your homework try to understand this is one coil And this is another coil, but of different radius. Through this coil, the current is suppose I1 hmm, loop L1, loop L2. This is the two coaxial coil. Okay, in this coil current is 1 ampere all right in this coil the current is 1 ampere and suppose its radius r1 is 3 centimeter its radius r2 is 4 centimeter all right i'm writing also and i'm speaking 4 centimeter as it is placed okay what should be the magnitude and direction of current in this coil you have to find it here the current is i2 i'm not giving the magnitude and direction will be what what will be the magnitude and direction in of current in l2 so that b at o this is o will be zero net magnetic field will be zero this point o is four centimeter from a smaller one and three centimeter from bigger one okay this is three centimeter three centimeter and this is four centimeter you have to find for what value of i and direction this net magnetic field due to this both the coil at o will be zero okay you have to solve by yourself even i'm not going to give you the answer okay you will solve by yourself and then you will tell me the answer now as we have studied the dipole moment my dear student we will study one more topic it is dipole moment of revolving electron that is very important so kindly give the heading dipole moment of dipole moment of revolving electron around the nucleus in an atom okay you have to find uh, let's suppose uh, let us consider an atom with uh, nucleus z e here the nucleus let nucleus is plus z e this is the charge of nucleus okay my dear student let me draw here plus z e this is the nucleus and this is the size of atom in which electron is moving in three marks actually this derivation used to ask in board examination suppose the radius is r and an electron is revolving around this nucleus suppose this is the electron and this is revolving with the constant speed v all right yes 
what is this v actually this is the constant is speed so we'll write here the v is constant is speed here r is the radius and suppose m is the mass of electron mass of electron okay my dear student now we are going to find here uh, the magnetic dipole moment okay so we know that current is charge per unit time okay i can be written at the q by t and we focus over the one complete revolution in one complete rotation we are going to find out the current for one rotation all right so we will write here this as total charge q moved in one rotation the total time period will be how much it is t now we need to find first time period so the time period will be written as it is the total distance travel 2 pi r divided by the speed and it is v so we can put this value over here and now we will have this i as q q is nothing but the charge of an electron it is e all right divided by 2 pi r divided by v so v will goes up we can write this one now to find here the quantity like the magnetic dipole moment let me multiply this by mass and radius mass and radius so that the equation will not affect it now here this pi r square will be the area look at here carefully e m v will be the linear momentum divided by 2 m a 2 m pi r square will be a now this can be also written as a this side i times a is equals to e and this r p try to remember you have studied in rotation r cross p it was angular momentum we used to represent by l divided by 2 m okay so this i a will be nothing but dipole moment e l by 2 m and this is the dipole moment of revolving electron now we are going to find here the two quantity this is the dipole moment remember dipole moment now we are going to discuss here the two quantity that is mentioned in ncrt and used to ask in board examination okay it is one the gyromagnetic constant and second one is the bohr magneton so the gyromagnetic constant actually gyromagnetic constant is a constant value for this electron and it is since this angular momentum will change can change so the constant you will find it is e by 2m is the constant in this equation and mu divided by l mu divided by this angular momentum this is called the gyromagnetic constant which is e by 2m e by 2m all the things are constant and this is called gyromagnetic gyromagnetic constant all right yes which gives the amount of gyration of electron around the nucleus this is called the gyromagnetic constant remember since this e by m okay charge divided by mass it is constant so for electron if you will try to calculate you will find 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power 10 coulomb per kz all right this is the gyromagnetic constant and one more topic related to this one it is mentioned in your ncrt it is bohr magneton which is also very important so give the heading bohr magneton 
let me grab this one bore magneton now what is this bohr magneton my dear student so here we'll use the bohr postulate okay the second bohr postulate what was the second bohr postulate actually uh, we'll study in very uh, detail but right now i'm telling you directly the according to bohr second postulate you can write according to Bohr's second postulate, which was used by Bohr to explain his uh, atomic model, is a atomic model. Angular momentum is n h over two pi, where n is the principal quantum number, which gives the different uh, idea of the different cell. Okay, now. Uh, as we have written this mu as e l by 2m all right e l by 2m so put the value of l from this equation and you will find mu as e by 2m and l is n h by 2 pi 2 pi overall you will have this is n e h over 4 pi m and the Bohr magneton, it is the magnetic moment itself. But magnetic moment at the innermost for the innermost orbit. And for the innermost orbit, that is n equals to 1. For the innermost orbit, this mu will be the minimum. That is the magnetic dipole will be minimum. And this will be considered as the Bohr magneton. Okay. So, the magnetic dipole moment for the innermost orbit is considered the Bohr magneton. If you will try to find out the equation, since you can see this is nothing but the mu minimum, you will find it is E h E h over 4 pi m. After calculation, you will get mu minimum that is the Bohr magneton as it is 9.27 times 10 to the power minus 24 all right ampere meter square and this is the Bohr magneton my dear students okay so my dear students this is all about the today's lecture in next lecture we will start with the magnetic force okay We'll start with the magnetic force. Thank you students.